it will change the direction of the vector again and then it will cause all sorts of problems so we need to add a line of code a few lines of code to determine that as well so let's go ahead and create that now check collisions so if the ball dot boundary dot intersects oops that intersects we're doing a rectangle collision which is very poor but we'll go into per pixel collision later on we're going to do a rectangle collision for the next game as well player dot boundary so if these two rectangles intersect each other we are have we have a collision now if they intersect with each other and if ball dot velocity is less than zero which means it's traveling left ball dot collision that's it for that else if ball that boundary that intersects with computer dot boundary and inside that we need to test if ball dot velocity is greater than zero which means it is traveling right we call ball dot collision okay adding draw calls to game objects we need to modify the paddle class and ball class so let's do that now paddle class draw sprite batch dot draw we need to find the pixel which is part of the game screen luckily that is static so we can call that boundary color dot white we want the panels to be white do the same thing for the you can actually copy that line and paste it in the ball class okay Adding game screen support to the screen manager. There are three things we need to do in the screen manager.cs. The first thing we need to do is call load content method from called the game screens load content method. The second thing we need to do is add the update call, and the third thing we need to do is add the draw call. So go to the screen manager.cs in screen managers load content. We need to call screen game dot load content in the update method of the screen manager dot cs under screen menu dot update add else if game state is equal to game state dot play screen game dot update game time screen manager dot cs in the draw method underneath screen menu dot draw add else if game state is equal to game state dot play screen game dot draw Pass a sprite batch. We're almost done. 
We need to update scores and display them. So the last thing we need to do for our game, this is the very last thing we need to do before we test it, is to add the ability to monitor our scores and to display them. If you look in the ball class, we need to change the comments to say X X gets a point. We need to replace the comments for computer gets a point and player gets a point. And we need to change it to actual get points. So computer gets a point, game screen. And then we need to add that using game screen dot score computer plus plus. And for player gets point is game screen dot score player plus plus. Okay, now in order to display them, we need to add draw string calls to the game screen. Use any positioning you like. I chose 30 comma 10 for the player score and 60 comma 10 for the computer score. 600 comma 10 for the computer score. I also chose to have the color as yellow. I'll fix that again before I publish these videos for the updated text version. So in the game screen, in the draw method, after you draw all the game objects, we need to add sprite batch dot draw string. screen manager dot sprite font comma player colon space space quote plus score player comma oops no wonder why code completion didn't come up new vector two thirty comma ten comma color dot yellow sprite batch dot draw string screen manager dot sprite font comma computer colon space space quote plus score computer comma new vector two six hundred comma ten comma color dot yellow now if we press F five we have some problems uh, ball dot velocity dot x ball dot velocity dot x okay if we press F five we have no problems and it's time to test. So we know help and exit work, so let's try play game. And it'll be a little jumpy because I'm recording. But you get the idea. The balls increase in speed and the computer got a point because I messed up. And for a basic game this is pretty fun. It's not much, but it's fun. So that's your first game. As you see, the computer just lost a point. So that's enough for testing. Uh, in the actual game I released, I added the ability to win or lose. But I didn't do that for this tutorial. I figured you are sick of Pawn and want to get into more cool stuff. So we'll go into that on the space game so let's talk about distribution more games later on will require a lot more testing so section nine distribution there's two ways to distribute